a reporter to Roma. This is what you do at the, when we touch down anywhere. You just start doing any bits of language you've got. I'm like, a reporter to Roma. Okay, touch down in Rome. Um, we watched a documentary called The Deepest Breath on Netflix and I sobbed and I was crying. And if you haven't watched that documentary, go and watch it after this vlog. It was so moving. It was intense. Love it when he carries my bag. Well, this all my bags. Actually. That way. Okay, we're gonna focus now. Uh, from your hotel, uh, the closed monuments uh, you have uh, Stadio Olimpico? Stadio Olimpico? Eh, Stadio Olimpico! You ask it! Beautiful thing! Welcome to our crib. So, this is our bed. Lovely. Very nice. Balcony over there. Oh, that's nice. That's really classy. Like, mini bar. The classic. The classic. Do they give you treats here? Yeah, they do. That's good. Just, oh my God, they look better than they the UK. Yeah. Mini bar stuff. Oh, they even put sunscreen spray in the mini bar, which is really nice. Wow. Laundry, limp roller, flip flops. Amazing. I love a limp roller. I know you do. There's a safe. Perfect. No. Oh my gosh, a B-Day. I've never yeah. used one of them. Lovely. Really nice. Oh, look at this. That's really cute. It's really nice, really actually. Cool, yeah. It is really nice. I guess feels... you just know what you're getting, don't you? We always stay in the same hotel. We know what we're getting. It feels very Italian, you know what I mean? Very, very Italian. Grown. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. Okay, I think it's time to pop a bottle and cheers to the mini moon. You want me to pop it? Yeah, pop it. <laughs> it's the classical music for me. It says, welcome to Soho House, Rome, Leah. We're so happy to having you here for these special occasions. No. a lovely day. That's nice. Team. What's this? I don't know, what is this? It's a bicky. It, is it a... Lovely. I can pop a bottle if you want. Immediately. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, that was hilarious. Are these proper champagne glasses? They're, it's a coupe glass. And I found out from watching Emily in Paris that it's because of the shape of Marie Antoinette's breasts. Really? Yeah. Amazing. So what do you think? I'm really enjoying it. The pool was awesome earlier as well. Yeah. It was really nice, just chilling up by the pool, had a bit of lunch up there. It was very late lunch for us, which means we're gonna have a late dinner. So we'll probably go into town, explore, go around, get for a nice walk. We might even take a scooter. It's really nice to be able to be in here with AC. Because so outside nice. it's 38 degrees. And it is cold. Roasting. Oh, I get that like, sort of like feeling in my stomach. Do you remember? Yeah, you don't like heights. Can't even look over. You can't, can't can you? Over. Okay guys, it's night number one. We have taken off my jewelry apart from my wedding ring because I'm not going out with my engagement ring on. It's in the safe. Just because even the taxi driver was like, don't carry or wear good stuff. And I was like, okay, I'll take your recommendation. I've got my silicon wedding ring on tonight. Lovely. Um, <laughs> just because I think they're incredibly comfortable. And uh, I know Leah's really struggling with it because she just wants to see me wear the proper I, wedding ring. I'm actually getting used to it now. The more people I speak to, like auntie yesterday, she was like, oh yeah, your uncle never used to wear his ring. He just couldn't get on with it and stuff. So yeah, I guess it's actually more common than yeah. what you think, but yeah. Here we are. I'm so happy to be in Rome. Me too. Let's go. We're just exploring the hotel. Um, it's very quiet down this bit. It's really nice. First gelato in Rome. Cheers. Oh my gosh, she's loving it. What did you get? Stratiatella oh and, and hazelnut. hazelnut. How good is it? Oh my god. That's unbelievable. So good, huh? That is unbelievable. I'm not even the presidente. Right. You're the presidente. Now it's time to try. This. this is hazelnut. Oh my gosh. Pistachio. <laughs> the face is hilarious. Nine and a half out of ten. Really? That's high. That is high. Presidente is just really enjoying himself. Yeah, over and out. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everybody. We slept good. I mean, I kept on waking up a little oh, bit. So I you? said I slept good, 
I slept oh, I quite a few that. hours. AC, not fresh air through the window. No. Classic. Classic. Boo-hoo. <laughs> Boo-hoo. Um, <laughs> when it's like 40 degrees outside, I'm like, oh, the AC is keeping me up. It's, it's yeah, that's, ridiculous. It's like, it's really hot. And last night we went to get the gelato. It was really warm walking there. And I was like, it would be so unbearable to keep walking into town and just go and, you know, or scoot or get the metro or a cab into the main like area of the city and do sightseeing at night and stuff. But it was so hot. I think we're going to have to just suck it up tomorrow or the next day in the day. Yeah. It's I mean, it's going to be really hot. I even, don't know how we're going to do it. Even today, we're like going to a pasta making class. Oh my and we gosh. have to sort of travel a little bit, get on a train, travel out of town and stuff. So but it's fine. You know what? Who cares? Like, yeah, we just got to suck it. Yeah, cares? it's going to be an amazing experience. So we're just going to be like, it was a very hot one. And we've got our fans. And we've got our fans. And uh, we're going to probably head to the gym now. And yeah. then we'll go grab some breakfast or coffee or something. Yeah. Then we might just chill out by the pool for a bit. And then I think we're going to... Pasta with nonna. Pasta with nonna. Okay guys, we're on the train now. We're heading to a pasta with nonna experience. We've decided we're gonna turn this whole thing into its own vlog. So we're gonna jump off of this vlog, move over to the other one, and it will either already be posted or it will be going up after this one. So, are you excited? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Bravo, Achille. Bravo, Achille. Yeah. 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 One clinker. Very good. Oh. Yeah. Good morning. It's day three. Can you believe it? Day three. You're on your tiptoes. I am on my tiptoes. Can we sit down? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> uh, we got back really late last night from the pasta making and um, it was honestly amazing. It was so much fun. Had the best time ever. Phenomenal. Today we are off to the Vatican, St. Peter's Basilica doing a guided tour in a small group. Yeah. And before that, we're just gonna go get some gelato, aren't we? And just go we and explore are. that area called, is it? I think it's Prati. Prati, I think it's yeah. Prati, maybe one tea. Yeah. Um, so that's the plan. So there's actually a rule in the Vatican that um, shoulders and knees must be covered for men and women. So Achille's got his like leggings on. I've got like a long sort of, they're like basically very thin tracksuit bottoms. Yeah. I've just got like a, a dress on that covers the knee, but it is the shoulders are out, so I've covered it with like a little linen linen top. And we are we might get a scooter, actually one of those little lime scooters over to our nearest metro station and then take the metro to that side of town. We'll see you there. I'm not sure if we'll vlog on the scooters, a bit dangerous. A bit a little bit dangerous. Yeah. But cool. See you there. See you there. These were our scooters. To be totally honest, I'm not sure I'm going to do that again. The drivers around here are pretty crazy. <laughs> we just had a very interesting scooter ride. I can know, that was quite stressful, wasn't it? I thought it was fine. I think you were just like really scared. I was scared because the cobbles. the cobbles were like, the cobbles were not fun for me. Yeah. And the drivers, I was like, I was at a junction and then we were all going straight and then he yeah. just decided to turn and nearly caught me and I was like, you must have wrong. Okay. We've just come into the square, right by the metro station that we've scooted to. And there's a load of chairs here for an outside screening. It looks like they're doing that like, in evening cinema thing, which is so cute. And then this square itself, big ancient ruin in front of us here. And then this beautiful, what looks like it maybe is a fountain normally. Very nice. I said to Leah, like, we could have got a cab this morning. It's just better to just do the proper experience with yeah. public transport and actually getting to see other things when we jump on the tube and jump on the scooters. Here it is. How does it compare? I'll tell you how it compares. Yeah, go on then. First things first, it's air conditioned. Yeah, you would never get that in London. I mean, unless you're on a brand new line. It's unreal. <laughs> Why do we not have that in here? They just never think to put it on, because they're like, we're in a cold, wet country. It's a very old transport. Yeah. To be honest with you, first things first, I think we need a gelato stop. We'll try and find the best gelato around here. Gelato House comes on strong recommendation and there's a couple of them around Rome. 
So both your cousin and Thalia, my sister-in-law, have both recommended this place, as well as local. So. Nice. Apparently, because you can't see the ice cream at all in his clothes, apparently that's a really good sign. So this is the list to choose from. So I don't usually go for a um, cone. No, you never do cone. Because he's putting the chocolate in it, I'm going to try the cone. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my day. That is so good. I don't think I've ever given a 10 out of 10. No, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm just too shocked to give it a 10 out of 10. But I think it might be. Wow. What a feeling. Sorry, my ice cream keeps coming into shock. Unreal. It's so good. That was worth the tube, the scooter, the heat, the jug. <laughs> and now we're, uh, we're going to head back out. I checked the weather and it's saying like it's at its highest point right now. Okay. But tomorrow and the next day, I'm going to be better. As a delia, we'll probably have to come back we'll maybe. Come back yeah, come back in a different time of the year where it's a bit cooler, maybe have a different type of experience. Right, funny story. We went in the pharmacy to get me some antihistamines and some cream for my mosquito bites. And we could overhear there was this Greek Cypriot guy in the queue and he was back and forth with the lady at the pharmacy. It was really funny because she was like, do you have a doctor's prescription for this? And he was like, no, no. Like, it, it, he was in, like, in Greek, like, in Cypriot, that basically means Yemen. Yeah, he's like, oh, feelos my name, you're like I'm, my friend's a doctor and stuff and, like, and then actually I was like I need to help I, I could understand so I basically like waded in and I was like I started speaking to him in Greek and then she was like can you ask him this and then he was like tell her this and I was like getting involved it, it was, was so really funny. funny because he started like changing his story because she was like have you done the blood test and he was like no and then he was like yeah yeah <laughs> Anyway, it was just really funny yeah, because um, the woman in the pharmacy was just not having any of it, but we found him really entertaining. I know, it was so funny. He was, oh, he was really great. Anyway, we came out of the pharmacy, made friends with the family, and they invited us out for lunch. So good. We've got our Vatican tour now, so we should probably go. Yeah, I know. We actually need to go. To I know. It. We Otherwise, actually do we need to get there. Probably so. could have gone out with the with the family we met. Every time we get hot on the walking stop, we go into a shop and have a look around or take a little ice cream stop. That's the current way we're doing it. Arch and I are just very drawn to this tourist shop. Oh my God. Those are the sugared versions of what we were trying in the hotel room. Oh, I love all this. This is like an espresso bar. You have the espresso. You literally just like down it and go. That's it. You know, no like, waiting around. It's not like England where you sit in Costa with a bucket of milk with literally a little pipette drop of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> and you sit there for about seven hours. Yeah. These are just like, here's a little, little espresso, bang. Banging out, amazing. We're outside the Basilica now and you're allowed no to take problem. photos. We've just been into the Sistine Chapel where it's meant to be silent and no photos, but I definitely saw people take photos and nobody was silent. But we moved on. It was beautiful though, it was incredible. Like you would have needed like two days in there to absorb it all. We had about five, ten minutes, but it was still insane. So the tour was over and uh, that was three and a bit hours and it was just absolutely incredible, mind blowing, so good. Yeah, it was fantastic. So, so it was just, yeah, like Leah said, it struggled to take it all in. It's just so grand and yeah. when you look at the structures, the buildings, 
we just said to Sabrina, our tour guide, that we could easily spend one week with you just yeah. learning because she there was so much to get through and we just had three hours. So yeah, you could just look at each piece of artwork and be like, what's the story behind that? It was mad, wasn't yeah. it? Incredible, absolutely incredible. The most memorable ones are the ones where you know the story behind it, where she goes, oh, this one is about death and how, you know, you don't know when your time is. I'll put a picture on screen of the sculpture, of the sculpture that's associated with that. And every time you learn a new story, you're like, oh, that one's so cool. So you just think how many stories there are. Crazy. And now I think it's time maybe to go and grab some food, find somewhere. Oh, We've got a recommendation actually. We've got a recommendation. Have a homemade another pasta again. A pasta or a pizza. Yeah, so I've um, got a recommendation. Yeah, we'll probably grab some more gelato today as well. Oh, is that on the agenda? Yeah, we'll grab some more gelato. Round two, sure. maybe fruity. Um, yeah, and then we'll just walk around, I think. We're doing good so far. We're doing good, we're still standing. She's <laughs> like, standing. well done everyone, you're still yeah. standing. Yeah. It was a hot tour. Apparently tomorrow's going to be a bit nicer, yeah. as in a bit cooler, a few degrees, so look forward to that. Okay. This is our dinner spot. You can't really see. This is the little entrance here, and this place comes on high recommendation. Wow. So, are you excited? I'm very excited. It's got. I'm it. hoping we can get a table. Everyone's saying online, like, they don't want people to know about this place. Oh my god. That's how good it is. There was no queue, and there's like one, two, three, four tables. It's so cute in here. Okay. Stunning. It's stunning. Let's get involved. Okay, round two. Carbonara. So this is traditional carbonara, apparently. So let's go. It was a little temperature test with the tongue for me. Well, it's not overly creamy. Yeah, it's and not meant to be. I'll do a taste test as well. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. We come to the right place now for dessert. We've got one one traditional tiramisu. They also offer pistachio and one panna cotta with strawberry on top. This would be my normal go-to. The tiramisu on Scarred for Life is when I was eight years old. I had like eight portions one time at Christmas, and I threw up. And from that time, I just I'm scarred by it. You but can't look at tiramisu. I'm really hoping that this ignites the fire and uh, it makes me fall in love with fall it. Fall in love with it again. So let's go for it. Amazing. That's Panna okay. Cotta Panna cotta, classic. classic. Okay. Fantastic. That makes me want to try it now. Absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah, it's good, huh? Oh. Now we can try the tiramisu. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Don't worry, like you've got nothing to worry about. It's amazing. Oh my god. Oh, he's going back in. He's going I've back in. I've this since I was like eight. I'm scarred for life. Like, I'm real. Really this is the best little find ever. This place had like five or six tables and it was fantastic. We've just left. Like everything about it was good. That was phenomenal. I could eat that many times over and over. It's our first glimpse of the Colosseum ahead of our tour tomorrow. Unreal, isn't it? Like, I'm just in awe. Like, I'm literally looking at it, man. The gladiator enters the arena. Hi, God bless you. Good night. What a holiday.